Hey everyone, we're talking about Iron's Group 8 team today. This group is really excellent. It helps you get all around the trumpet register and when approached correctly, it can really develop a sense of freedom throughout your range. Irons mentions this really great anecdote about the sense of playing exercises like his when they're done well, being very similar to running a mallet up and down a xylophone or some sort of malleted instrument. Like as if you're just sort of running up and down very easily, just if you work on these exercises and develop the, the true compactness that can come with them and the ease of flow, it can make it very easy to get yourself up and down the range. So what are some of the pitfalls of this particular exercise? Well, this exercise, because it starts in the middle and spiders out, really sort of helps to draw your range down and up, but many people are gonna struggle with opening as they descend. So some ways to do this is, again, skeletonizing. So just spending time bouncing back and forth between your middle note and the low fundamental is a really great way to do this. Then going up and coming back to the F sharp is another challenging skill. Always being very aware of keeping your sound open, not allowing the sound to get crunched off, like. We don't want to go da dee It's in da 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 dee da 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 dee da 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 So we're moving from the F sharp up to the to the high partial and then back down. Now you work to connect the two by maybe bouncing down one interval and going up. And now. Also add a scalar motion or a um, an arpeggiated motion. So that's the challenge to getting down to the F sharp and back up to the upper F sharp, or you know whatever uh, whatever harmonic series you're on. Now, the ending, if you're playing this exercise and you have it to where you can really flow through it, the ending should just sort of be tossed off. But you need to be in control. It can't be tossed off in a flippant way. It's in a very thoughtful way. So you're not going... You know, you're not just like throwing the sound. So how can we practice this with the metronome? I would do it at exactly half tempo. The temp add the tempo to where you add a looking for just as much consistency of timbre and color in the sound as you possibly can get, and then winding up um, at tempo. You can also practice just move, moving up and down from your middle um, middle harmonic. 
Okay, so those are some, some thoughts and ways to practice this. Just uh, remembering to continue with as much flow in the exercise as possible and trying to keep the sound as similar to your middle range in both your upper and lower ranges, keeping it open, keeping it warm. Um, adding some articulation to this could also help if you're really struggling, but um, like, so that might sound like... Articulating it at a slower tempo can be very beneficial to helping you really lock in the time. Um, anyway, hope these help and uh, have a great day.